Okay guys, in this one we're gonna have a look at area of 2D shapes. So, in this first example here, I've got a square. I can tell it's a square because I've got these little dashes on each side, which means that this length is the same as this length, which is the same as this length, and so on. Okay? And because they're all the same length, because these dashes give it away, that side there is also gonna be two centimeters. And to work out the area of a square, it's really easy. We just do base times the height. So I'm going to do 2 times 2, which is 4. And don't forget the units, which is centimetres squared, because we're doing 2 times 2, which is 4, but centimetres times centimetres, centimetres squared. A rectangle here is exactly the same thing. Base times the height. So in this case, 2 times 3, which is 6. And again, don't forget your units, centimetres squared. Area is always squared. This shape here is a parallelogram, so it should have these little arrows here, which tell us that these two sides are parallel, and then arrows like this to show that these two sides are parallel, and say a parallelogram. A parallelogram has exactly the same formula as a square and a rectangle. It is just the base times height. Now you might have noticed that on this slanted height here, I put a three. That is not the height. The height we want is this one here, where it goes straight from the bottom, straight to the top. It's got a posh word, it's called perpendicular. So I want the perpendicular height, straight from the base, straight to the top, okay? So four times by two. So four times by two is obviously eight, and again, don't forget your units, centimeters squared. So all of these three have the same formula, base times by the height. Okay. Triangle, slightly different. This one here, it's base times by the height, and then we half it because it's half the area of a rectangle. Okay, so base times height and half. If you use length times width, it just means the same thing. Of I'm using base times height. Okay. Now again, just like the parallelogram, I'm not interested in this diagonal or the slanted height. I want the perpendicular height here, which is four. So when I substitute this in, the base is six, the height is four, and I'm going to divide it by two. So six times four is twenty-four. Half is twelve. So twelve centimeters squared. The trapezium, okay, I can tell it's a trapezium because a trapezium is a quadrilateral, so it's got four sides, and these two sides here are parallel, okay? Now to work out the area of a trapezium, some people like to break this up into two triangles and then the rectangle, add it all together, that's fine, but there is a quicker way. The quicker way is to add the two parallel sides, which will be three plus seven, so you add the parallel sides, you times that by the height, again, perpendicular height, not this slanted height, the perpendicular height, so times by five, and then you half it. So three plus seven, you must do that first, okay? Don't put it into a calculator and expect to get some answer, because bid maths will do the division or times first or something like that. So make sure you do the addition first. Three plus seven is 10, times by five is 50, Half it is 25 centimetres squared. Okay, so with a trapezium, add the parallel sides, even if it's turned around on its side like that or something like that. Don't get confused. It's always add the two parallel sides, times it by the height, then half it. When you have something like this, there's no formula to work out this. So what we do is we split the shape up into shapes that we do know the formulas for. So there's different ways you can do this. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so I've split this up into a rectangle, and again, I've split this up into a rectangle. Now, I know this looks like a square, but don't be put off. That's one centimeter, and this is seven centimeters. So this is not drawn to scale. So don't just look at it and think you know what the answer is. Actually, look at the lengths they've given you and work it out. So if I need to work out this, well, that's fine. That's the same as that, so that's one centimeter for the base, but I don't know the height. But I do know the whole height of this shape is seven, oh, the wrong units there, is seven, and I know this is two millimeters. So this length here, seven, 
to this must be five millimeters. So I can work out the area of this. One times five is five millimeters squared. And I can work out the area of this. Base is 10, height is two. 10 times two is 20 millimeters squared. Okay. Once you've worked out the area of both of them, all you do is just add it up to get the total. So five millimeters squared plus 20 millimeters squared is 25 millimeters squared. And you've done it. Okay, so split up the shape into shapes you do know the formulas for, work out each one and add it up at the end. And finally, you could have something that looks a bit like this, where it wants you to work out the area of the shaded shape. Now hopefully you could spot that the outside is a rectangle and inside is a rectangle. And of course, just like before, we know how to work out the area of a rectangle. So work out the big rectangle first. So base times height, so seven times five, which is 35. This time it's meters, so meters squared. The small rectangle is four times two, which is eight meters squared. And then if you want the, air, the shaded area, all we do is the big, take away the small, so 35 minus the eight, which of course is 27 meters squared. Sorry, I'm doing the squared. Okay, just something to be aware of going forward.